Laundromats are one of the most passive yet cash flowing businesses to get into, especially if you already have a job or are a current business owner, or even if you're looking to start your first business. The truth is, laundromats have always been a hot commodity and a solid business model, even dating as far back as the Great Depression. Obviously the game has changed a bit since then, but the concept and ability to make some real money has always been there. The business just makes sense. The industry is robust against disruption and the positive cash flow is there, which is why small business owners like me absolutely love the laundromat industry. I wasn't always in the laundromat business though. Quick interruption. My new Discord channel just launched where I'll be doing live Q&As, releasing exclusive content, deal documents I personally use for deals, and tools to help anybody learn more about the real estate and laundromat business. Come hang out with like-minded individuals, bounce ideas off entrepreneurs like myself and others, and see where your growth is in the next six months. Your network is your net worth. They don't say that for nothing. Discord link will be in the description below. Anyways, back to the video. I had a job just like everyone else. I mean, I guess I still do. Running these laundromats is a job, but you know what I mean. So I made my money in the commercial real estate industry and doing Airbnb arbitrage back from 2016 to 2018. The Airbnb market wasn't as saturated back then, the margins were higher, and the occupancy was booked out, especially in the markets I was in. The term Airbnb arbitrage was so new, nobody really even knew about it. This is like 2011 Bitcoin we're talking about. Alright, maybe not that far. But yeah, as far as saturation goes, for the most part, there were a handful of really big players running Airbnb arbitrage on a large scale, basically across the major cities here in Southern California. And then you'll have your occasional smaller operator and management companies like me. And at the time, that was really about it. Long story short, I made my bag and an opportunity came to purchase my first laundromat. I'll have to do a separate story time on how I was able to get that first location, finance it, and how I was able to expand from there. But the key takeaway is that it is more than possible to jump into the laundromat industry even while working your day job or owning other businesses. Like I said, the industry just makes sense, especially for people looking to become business owners or even current business owners looking to diversify. I mean, who wouldn't want that extra income? An additional $3,000 a month? An extra $5K a month? How about an extra $10,000 a month? Now before it starts sounding like a 1990s infomercial, building up your laundromat business up to 5k a month or even 5 figures per month isn't as complex and daunting as everyone makes it out to be. This is Laundry Capital and I'm not only going to go over on how to get started in the laundromat business but the best ways to get started. Like with most things, there's the right way to go about it and the not so right way to go about it. I've been seeing way too many people either one get screwed over or two are suffering through paralysis by analysis and are eating away at themselves for feeling like they're wasting their time by sitting on the sidelines so if either of those situations sound like you or sound like something maybe you want to prevent against this is for you all right let's jump right into it so you want a laundromat but where do you even start to look for a laundromat at least when it comes to buying a house i can find a real estate agent basically anywhere in my local area or even just go onto the main real estate listing websites like zillow no free ads now we're gonna start seeing some commonalities between searching for a home and searching for a laundromat and unlike in my last video where there are key differences in assessing quote unquote fair value for a home versus a laundromat business in this case the two are very similar in that there are online platforms and databases for both in which buyers and sellers can buy and sell their businesses just like there is for residential real estate what zillow is for home buying loopnet and biz by sell is for commercial real estate and businesses for sale retail businesses service businesses even federally gray area but legal in certain states and rhymes with schmanibus business type of businesses Basically, any and all types of opportunities you should be able to find and definitely including laundromats. Once you're on Biz by Sell, you'll be able to specify your city and state and the type of business you're interested in. So in this case, we'll type in laundromats. Click search and a page full of listings for sale will appear. Depending on if you're in a small town or in a major market, results may vary. So if you don't see any laundromats in your immediate area, try scrolling out and searching in the closest big city near you. At that point, you will definitely find some opportunities, and from there, you can key in on certain areas. LoopNet is also a powerful tool nearly all commercial real estate and business professionals use to prospect and find deals across the U.S. These websites I'm showing you will be vital in your search for your next business or real estate transaction. These are resources I personally use to help me find deals, and I'm showing you the exact steps I took to help me transact over $10 million in deals personally and for others. So to say the least, online platforms are an extremely powerful tool. We all know that. But not all deals are found and posted online. A good portion of deals never even make it online and are transacted via what we call quote-unquote off-market. Off-market is exactly what it sounds like. The deal was found off the market. 
as in it was not posted in any public listing databases and the deal either went direct buyer to seller or there could have been a broker involved who just maybe sold it as a pocket listing. Pocket listing is another term you might come across when looking for deals. Pocket listing, off-market deals, they all refer to the same thing, a deal that is not openly marketed to the public. So as you can see, you can find deals from a ton of different sources. And instead of you having to wonder what and where those other sources are, I'm giving away my success blueprint that gives you all the answers in one easy document. It shows you the various different sources where you can find your next deal and the steps on how to move forward. And I'm giving this away absolutely free. You can find the link to the download in the description below, and it's a simple to read guide that will help you along your journey to passive cash flow. We're coming out with a bunch of new content this month, so don't forget to follow me on my newly launched Discord to join myself and others in live Q&A sessions, entrepreneur focused chat groups, and to stay up to date with new videos and exclusive materials that drop. Also, don't forget to follow me on all my socials, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok for more laundromat cash flow tips and tricks. All links will be in the description below. Catch you guys in the next one.